there, it's Jill Donnell here from Successful Women and I just want to have a quick chat with you about one of my favourite subjects, assertiveness. So, what is assertiveness and why is it important to understand? Well, for me, a good definition about uh, assertive behaviour, assertive language, is making sure that we have respect for ourselves and respect for other people when we're having those conversations or interactions in relationships. And sometimes as women, we find that quite difficult. And many women have a tendency to be quite passive in their dealings with other people. They'll put other people first. And let's face it, many of us have been brought up in certain ways. I remember my mum very clearly saying to me, little girls should be seen and not heard. And so there is a, a sort of very British expectation that we put other people first. Uh, and particularly women with caring responsibilities have, will... Uh, potentially find themselves making sure that everybody is all right and then looking after themselves and that's great but when it has an impact on our self-respect then maybe we might want to consider making some of those adjustments so it's a continuum from passive through in sitting nicely in the middle is being assertive having respect for yourself and a respect for the other person but if we move down to the other end of that continuum towards aggressiveness then we tend to lose our respect for other people and aggressive people can be quite shouty, quite loud, um, wanting to put their point of view, not wanting to listen to other people. But also aggressiveness for me is when we are maybe manipulative, sulky, sarcastic. I have to say I've got a tendency to go down there occasionally. Um, and one thing that's quite important, I'm not saying to you that you must be assertive at all times. I'm saying that we have a choice in how we behave, in how we uh, talk to other people and how we relate to people. And that if you can find yourself most of the time being assertive, the chances are that you're going to feel more fulfilled, have more successful uh, outcomes in terms of those relationships, particularly if you have to deal in the workplace, maybe with conflict. If you're a manager, you have to deal with other people it's really quite important to have the skills and the knowledge to do that in an assertive way because there's much less chance of causing impact to other people. And I think one of the reasons why many of us uh, shy away from being what we think assertiveness is, is we don't want to offend people. So what does it mean? What are the ingredients? For me, there are a number. Uh, the first one, the important one is to listen, to listen to what that other person's saying, to listen actively, to demonstrate that you understand, not pay lift service. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Not make assumptions, but just to demonstrate that you understand their point of view. If you're having a difficult conversation, uh, paraphrase what's being said, that will uh, make that other person realise that you are listening to what they say and you've got genuine understanding of their point of view. The next thing that's quite important and sometimes is difficult for women is to say what you think and feel. We're not always very good at that. Again, fear of upsetting people, fear of outcomes. Uh, but in order to have a conversation that will be mu mutually respective, then you need to have the ability to say what you really think and feel. But you have a choice of how much that you give. And then you need to be able to say what you want to happen uh, and uh, in a way that the other person understands and listening to their point of view. But if you don't say what you want, uh, then how can they know? And I think often as women, we're quite good at hinting. We have an expectation that people will, will know what we want. But it's really important to actually be able to articulate what you want out of that situation, out of that conversation. It doesn't mean you're always going to get what you want. But I guarantee if you do have the ability to say what you want to happen, you'll feel better of having been able to state your case. And finally, there's a need to work out joint solutions. And that's really important. Uh, this is not about compromise. This is working out uh, a solution uh, between the two. And sometimes that might mean that you have to make a decision not to agree. Uh, but as I said before, having the ability to do this, and we can all practice, everything needs practice, uh, will mean that you will feel less stressed because you have actually taken the time to make your case. Uh, and uh, like anything, it's a skill that does need practice. Uh, and one of the most important things is that we all make a choice every day about where how we want to behave and where we want to be on that continuum. And there might be circumstances where you make a choice 
not to be assertive and to take a passive role. But then if you understand how to do all that, then you have the ability to make that choice. So go forth, have fun with assertive conversations and have a great day. Bye bye.